Hey, it's Sunny here and welcome back to Sunny DIY where you can find all your gifting needs for your loved ones. Both Draco and I really enjoy playing Zelda The Breath of the Wild. So for this Valentine's Day, I really wanted to make something that's Zelda related. So I made this super cute crop. I think it is the perfect gift idea for a gamer or somebody who loves Zelda or just think they are super cute. I hope you guys will try out the DIY yourself and let's get to it. I'm going to start by drawing that leaf all the Koroks have. Of course, there are different designs and I really like this one because it looks like a little heart even though it is just a upside down leaf. And basically, I looked up an image I found online and trying to copy it as much as I can. Of course, a really great option is just to print out an image. I'm lucky enough to have green paper on hand, but if you don't, go ahead and color the base color a light shade of green and then draw the outline using a darker shade of green. Draw out the details using the darker shade of green as well. I know it looks a little weird, but it will turn out perfectly fine. With the eyes and the eyebrows that they have, I just outlined it using a black sharpie. And now you are ready to cut the whole thing out. I left a hole in the center where the nose is supposed to go, so just remember to cut a hole there as well. Next, we're going to do a little painting. I'm trying to create this color that's supposed to be the color of a tree branch. I don't have that perfect color, so I'm mixing together a bit of yellow, a bit of red, and then some white. But with the paint, I'm going to paint two toilet paper rolls. I find it's fairly easy to cover toilet paper rolls, so you only need about one to two coats. And once you are done, leave it to the side to dry as we prepare for all the other things. So the croc I'm going to be making is one of those fly in the air holding this little branch. And I went downstairs and found a cute little branch. Then I just drew two leaves that's the appropriate size for the branch. I'm just going to cut out this one that I drew and to make it look nice and neat, I went ahead and erased the pencil marks that I left behind as well. Apply a generous amount of glue to the center part and wrap it around the tree branch to glue it in place. Set that aside for now. And the last thing we need to prepare is just a very sweet message we're going to put into the Karak. I thought it would be cute to start the message with Yahaha because that's what the Karaks always say. And now we are all ready for assembly. Take one of the toilet paper rolls and on one side you want to press down in the center to create the head part of the Karak. Once you are happy with the shape, go ahead and apply some hot glue to glue it in place. Then take the second toilet paper roll and press down on one of the side as well. This will be the feet and also glue it in place using some hot glue. Taking the side that's supposed to be the feet and make a fairly deep slit and you just want to push in the side when you glue so that the cone becomes smaller and this just helps with attaching it to the body. Now take the leaf that you drew previously and glue that in place as well. Also glue in place that little tree branch you have to the side. I rolled up some excess paper that I had into a little cone and made it the nose and glued that to the circle that you left for the nose. Open up your Karak and I tossed in mine some candy and that sweet message that I wrote. You can of course put anything you want, even a little present and you are already. 